Dear Lord, we thank you for the gift of life today. You allow us to have another day to praise you and see your glory. Thank you for the love and protection, especially this time of pandemic. Bless us, Father, with your wisdom as we begin our class. Help us to focus our hearts and minds on what we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit as we think and listen. Guide us by your eternal light as we discover more about the world around us. Lord, we thank you and let your will be done in our lives. We ask all this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Good day, learners. Welcome to another lesson full of knowledge, skills, and experience. I am your teacher, Kimberly B. Clearing from Elamas National Vocational School. Join me as we learn another lesson in Electronics 8. Make yourselves comfortable and get ready for note-taking. What was our lesson last meeting? That's right! I have your pictures of different hand tools. On your paper, match the different hand tools with their actual pictures. Write the letter only. Slotted screwdriver 
it is used to drive and fasten negative slotted screws. Phillips screwdriver. It is used to drive or fasten positive slotted screws. It is a screwdriver that could take greater torque and could provide tighter fastening. Jeweler's screwdriver set. It is a set of small screwdrivers composed of slotted and Phillips screwdriver. Next we have the soldering iron. It is a device used for applying heat to melt solder in attaching to metal parts. Next we have the soldering tool stem. It is a place where the soldering iron is placed during usage. This will keep the soldering iron away from flammable materials. Then we have the desoldering tool. It is used in removing wires and electronic components on printed circuit boards for troubleshooting and repair purposes. Then we have the long nose. It is used for holding, bending, or stretching the lead of electronic components or connecting wires. Next, we have the side cutter. It is a wire cutting pliers, though they are not used to grab or turn anything, but are used for cutting wires. Next, we have the wire stripper. It is a pair of opposing blades, much like scissors or wire cutters. The addition of a center notch makes it easier to cut the insulation without cutting the wire. What is the relevance of studying these basic electronic hand tools in this time of pandemic? These basic electronic hand tools are important in the sense that they are very useful in making electronic devices that can be used for contact tracing, surveillance, and scanning of temperature. Can you already identify the different kinds of basic electronic hand tools? Great! Now, with your pen and paper, answer the following. Number one, Chet is going to cut the insulation without cutting the wire. What tool is he going to use? A. Phillips screwdriver B. Long nose or C. Wire stripper If your answer is letter C, you are right. Number two, Anna wants to attach two metal parts in a printed circuit board. What tool is she going to use? A. Desoldering tool B. Soldering iron or letter C. Long nose You are right if your answer is letter B. Number 3. Oliver wants to remove positive slotted screws in his thermal scanner. What tool is he going to use? Letter A. Phillips screwdriver B. Slotted screwdriver Or letter C. Jeweler's screwdriver set If your answer is letter A, you got it right! Number 4. Mary wants to keep her soldering iron away from flammable materials during usage. What tool is she going to use? Letter A. Soldering iron B. Soldering tool stand Letter C. Desoldering tool If your answer is letter B, you got it right! Number 5. James wants to bend and stretch the lead of his connecting wires. 
What tool is he going to use? Letter A, long nose. Letter B, wire cutter. Or letter C, wire stripper. If your answer is letter A, you got it right. For your assignment, in a one-half sheet of paper, research about the common faults in using electronic hand tools. I hope you learned something in this video. See you on our next fun, exciting, and interesting topics in Electronics 8. This has been Teacher Kim, your basic electronics teacher.